you'll see how it's going to jump from this monitor to, oh my goodness, this is complicated, to, ah, oh shit, ah. five super simple tech tips that will make your life a lot easier. This is stuff that I use in my daily life and I, uh, I'm choosing these because I think they might make it easier for you. But first, before we get straight into it, I have two little things to say. First, I made my first talk, which I'm kind of embarrassed, but doesn't really matter. So this is the first one. I know, it's a little crazy, a little headachey. You might have an epilepsy attack if you watch it. But don't worry, this isn't that famous Pokemon episode. You don't, you don't have to ban it or whatever. Uh, second one is check out my Insta, like here, if that's something you're into. I'm not very active on it, but you know, maybe I will be eventually. So let's get straight into it. Messy cables, we all hate it. it. Happens to all of us. It might be your charger, it might be your headphones. Whatever it is, we hate messy cables. So there's nothing more frustrating than you want to do whatever you got to do. You open your bag, you take out your cables, and it's like, oh my goodness, they're so messy. So here's a really, really easy way how you can do some basic cable management. And this is good for traveling if you're going on a trip or something of the sort, or your daily routine. Um, super simple, all you gotta do is you take a paper clip, attach it on your nicely wound cable, and you're good to go. What's cool about this is that if you decide that you want to hang it somewhere on a key hanger, or like what I do is I put a nail in pieces of wood, and I hang my keys on it when I get home. Uh, you can do that. It's kinda cool, it's a bit DIY-ish. Nothing fancy, but it looks cool. Tip number two. So every time you put in a USB key, it always seems like you put it in one way, it doesn't work. You flip it, you try again, it doesn't work still. So you're like, oh, okay, let's try the first way. And it goes back in. And I gotta say the amount of times this has happened to me, it's super, super frustrating and super annoying. Well, here's a really easy way how not to get confused with which USB side goes up and which side goes down. So as you can see here, normally the logo, we're gonna assume that goes up, but it's not always the case. And this is actually a really good example because the logo is on the wrong side on my USB cable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the USB cable and there's two holes in it. Those holes, I like to think of it as like a cup and all our information that we put in the USB key is inside that cup. And if you pour it upside down, well, you lose everything. So keep it straight up. So if the data is in the cup, that is up. Shout out to Delphin. Um, you put the USB cup up and you plug it in and it works every single time. If you're enjoying this so far, you guys know what to do down here. Show some love. And uh, yeah, I put a lot of work into these videos. This is actually the fourth time I filmed this. The first time it was bad. The second time was not good enough, the lighting sucked. Third time was amazing. I was like, everything I wanted to say was good, I was super happy. I put it on my computer and I realized that it's filmed in like 640 by something. I was really sad, the quality looked super bad. So hopefully this time we're all good. So next tip is emojis. We all love using emojis. It's an easy way to show um, if you want to show emotion and you don't feel like typing something out. Well, emojis are a fun way to do that. Okay, so super, super simple. All you've got to do is for the first one, let's say you're trying to make some emojis and you're typing normally on our phones, you know, we just choose the emojis we want. Uh, here, I've got a really good keyboard shortcut for you. And basically what you do is, I'm going to write here, you're going to do uh, Windows plus period. And this is going to give you, I'm going to show you right here. So you do Windows and 
period. And now you get all these emojis. So what's really cool with this is that, you know, you got your basic ones here. Okay, whatever. You go here and now you got your kind of like your old school styled emojis from like back in the day. Like when I was a teenager, we used to do shit like this. So you got like, you got the guy here and you can even go by if you want happy. Uh, let's say you want greetings, you want acting cute. I like these ones because there's some pretty cute ones here. Uh, but my all-time favorite is the angry ones. And the one I really like is, where is it, where is it? This one right here. So I think this one's pretty cute. It's like someone going like, bah. So that's one thing. So last thing, we're gonna stay in the matrix of the computer. Uh, let's jump to the last thing. Now, if you're a gamer, kind of like myself, and you might have more than one monitor, dual, triple, quadruple. Well, it's really annoying when you have a window open and you want to put it to the next monitor and then you have to click and drag in and does that half screen stuff that's super annoying. Really, really simple. I'm gonna show you right here, so let's jump into the matrix, how you can just flip from window to window. Okay, so I have a page open and like I said before, it's just shift windows and left and right and you'll see how it's going to jump from this monitor to oh my goodness this is complicated to ah shit ah there we go this monitor so i'm just using the left and right key all right super easy well that's it we're out of the matrix hope you guys enjoyed this one this was a one shot one take one kill widowmaker style so hopefully it's good because, yeah, I really, really don't feel like filming this for like the fifth time. So hopefully this is the good one. Show some love once again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.